Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I, you guys, I am making a more upbeat video. I am sorry I haven't talked to you in a long time. I didn't even go back and check to see when was the last time I talked to you. But I decided to get on here and talk to you. I'll give you a little bit of an update about my life and then talk to you about what we're here for. Today's topic is sarcoidosis. So if you're interested in sarcoidosis, that is what we are going to talk about. And I'm so glad to be in a good mood. This has been a rough year. So let me recap. Oh, dog just opened the door. Husband, you can shut my door. Um, so let's recap. So back in, what month was that? Uh, June, I believe, that I got notification from my um, disability insurance that they had made a mathematical error. And they were going to um, cut my benefit by $2,000 a month. <sighs> Blew my mind, rocked my world. And we decided that meant that we couldn't afford the home that we were living in. And so we decided to sell our home. So we were getting everything ready to sell. We staged our home and we are getting everything ready to do pictures so that we could put it up on the internet. And my husband's car burst in fire destroying the garage and doing damage in the house. And um, so we've been living in a hotel for the past three months. I was going to say years. It feels like years, but it was actually only months. And during that time, there was a housekeeper that stole some checks out of our hotel room and wrote some fraudulent checks. And so uh, we did recover our money, but we had to change all of our financial accounts. It was an absolute mess. And now, oh, guess what? On the 13th of October, I got in a car accident. So July, August, September, October. Three months, almost to the day from my house fire, I got in a car accident. Two of our cars were destroyed in the house fire. The third car got damaged in the car accident. It was not my fault. Um, that didn't make me feel much better. But what did make me feel better is they're not totaling that car. They are going to repair it and get it back to us. And I'm so freaking excited because I needed some good news. And along with all that, I have been dealing with sarcoidosis and everything that comes along with that, going to all my doctor's appointments. Um, my puppy had a surgery on his knee. Just life happens, right? All the stuff. And it just feels like a lot. But during all this, since before COVID happened, my friend Andrina Sinola Johnson has been working on a documentary about sarcoidosis. It's a full length documentary and I've seen clips of it and it is freaking amazing. And um, it's hard to get films funded if you're not backed by a big movie studio. And it's especially harder when they're documentaries. And it's way especially harder when they are about a rare disease such as sarcoidosis. But guess what? She is almost to her goal, like super, super, super close to her goal. And um, so I am learning about, hold on, what's that word again? Crowdfunding. So we are crowdfunding for Project Purple. And that is where people, just ordinary people like you and me, give money to the project to get this film done because we want to see a full-length documentary about our condition, about sarcoidosis. Do you have sarcoidosis? Do you know someone who has sarcoidosis? Are you a doctor that treats sarcoidosis? Are you a nurse or a physical therapist or uh, I don't know? You tell me in the comments, what are you and how do you deal with sarcoidosis? I am so excited for this because we need, we need this recognition. Let me tell you. So it was a really big deal when Bernie Mac died of sarcoidosis, right? And now there are so many celebrities. Oh, what was that guy's name? Michael Clark Duncan. I was shocked when I found out he died of sarcoidosis. There are a list of people that have died of it. There are also a list of celebrities that are living and thriving with it. 
There um, are a bunch of people that are going to be in the documentary. There are doctors from the Cleveland Clinic that'll be in the documentary. I know I wish I could get to the Cleveland Clinic. <sighs> Haven't made it there yet, but it would be awesome to see a doctor from the Cleveland Clinic. Um, so, and you'll get to see real life patients and how they're dealing with it, including Andrina, the lady that's putting this whole thing together. She has sarcoidosis. Okay. I've already used up five minutes and you guys know, I don't like to go long. I'm going to put my glasses back on because I want to read to you the prizes that you get if you donate. And in the comments, I have put the link to the GoFundMe. I put the link to all of the social media places and the websites where you can get information about the documentary. Oh, and I want to put one little plug in there. As a chronically ill person that spends a lot of time in bed, look, I'm making this YouTube video from bed. I look really vague because I've got a mirror over here that I rarely use. I can't tell you the last time I put on makeup. Um, but, and I don't have my lights around, so my lighting is really bad. Um, but I watch a lot of TV. And when I see a good TV show, oh, it just makes my heart sing. I love Guillermo del Toro. I love Stephen King. I love, I guess you can tell I like horror. <laughs> I love Bloomhouse. I love, oh my gosh, those guys, they take my mind off my pain and suffering and put it in that little black box. And I have some joy while I can pay attention to that. And I can pause it if I'm having a flare, I need to go to the bathroom, take care of a rash, something gross. And it's right there so I can finish it up. So I am so appreciative of all the writers and directors and producers and actors. And I don't know all the people that go into a film, some called a gaffer. I'm sure there's stuff to do with lighting and mics and cameras and action and all that stuff. And I'm just grateful to all those people. And so I want to be a part of that. And how I can do that is crowdfunding because you can do that from your bed. And so here we go. If you donate $10, you get a thank you credit in the film. If you donate $20, you get an invite to the virtual premiere and a special thank you credit in the film. If you donate $50, you get to download behind the scenes content, um, download the short documentary, Surviving Sarcoidosis. That's a good one I saw on Amazon, but honestly, this one's shaping up to be even way better. I don't understand the difference because I'm not a filmmaker, but when you have a higher budget, you can make a much better quality film. Um, let's see. And that comes with everything that you get for the $20 also. $100, you get a badge of honor. I'm not sure what that is, but you also get everything else that came with the $50 package. $200, you get um, a handwritten letter from the director. That's my amiga, Andrina. She's going to write you a letter. Plus the download. You also get an autographed poster signed by the cast and crew while supplies last. Plus the behind the scenes footage, access to the virtual private screening, and a thank you credit with your name in the film. I should have put this to music like Partridge in a Pear Tree, huh? If you donate $500, Project Purple Pride, we will use your photo to create a digital Project Purple logo that you can use as your wish. Plus you get the handwritten letter and the autographed poster, download of the short documentary, behind the scenes footage, access to the virtual private screening, and you'll receive a thank you credit with your name at the end of the film. Thousand dollars makes you an associate producer credit on IMBD. Do you know I am or IMDB? Do you know what that is? It's a website where I go look up movies and all the actors that I like and see what movies I want to watch. So you can be on there as an associate producer. Plus, you get the handwritten letter, the autographed poster, and a partridge in a pear tree. No, I'm just kidding. You don't get a partridge in a pear tree. You get a download of the short documentary, Surviving Sarcoidosis, the behind-the-scenes footage, access to the virtual private screening, and you will receive an associate producer credit, and your name will be included during the final credits of the film. 
If you donate $2,500, you get a co-producer credit on IMDb, handwritten letter from the director, autograph poster signed by cast and crew, download of the short documentary, Surviving Sarcoidosis, behind the scenes footage package, access to the virtual private screening of the completed documentary, and you will receive a co-producer credit and your name will be included during the beginning credits of the film. Ooh, that's the first time I read that. Okay, and the ultimate $5,000 donation gets you executive producer credit on IMDb, a handwritten letter from the director, an autograph poster signed by the cast and crew, a download of the short documentary Surviving Sarcoidosis, behind the scene footage package, and here comes my Bernese Mountain Dog, access to the virtual private screening of the completed documentary. You will receive an executive producer credit and your name will be included during the beginning credits of the film. That is freaking amazing. So all you have to do, if you can afford it, is give all that money and you get all that great stuff and you get all that credit and you get to be listed on IMDb, which is freaking awesome. I can't do that, given all the stuff that I told you at the beginning. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to sell my house because I can't afford it. But um, I can crowdsource right here from my bed in my hotel room. And I want to make this um, documentary happen. And I want to tell you, uh-oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? My live streaming. Can you still see me? Can you still see? Oh, I'm so froze. So froze. I was going to tell you how close we are to where we want to be. But I'm afraid if I change the screen that you're going to lose me. And so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I, I will tell you what, I will put it in the comments right underneath on all the social media links. So 12 minutes. This is a freaking long YouTube video. I love you guys. I hope this turned out well. And um, I am looking forward to watching this video that is going to have its virtual premiere in April, which is just around the corner. So have a wonderful day. I love you all. Adios, amigos.